welcome to some Kerbal Space Program. Not just any Kerbal Space Program, no. No, this is definitely not a normal Kerbal Space Program video because I'm starting a new series today um, called Let's Build. And basically, the intent of this series is to show you how to build stuff. Yay! I will show you how to build some pretty de decent looking spaceships and craft and so you can use it. I'll list all the mods that I use but I will try and keep it as vanilla as possible and so you can always can enjoy it yourself because I don't think putting the craft file in the description is really going to let you have fun. I'll let you build it yourself because then you can also make variations on it and you can <laughs> you can make slight differences and all that good stuff. So today I'm making a lightweight drone, a lightweight aircraft even. Um, you've seen many of these like this before. You've probably seen really tiny little aircraft which are very fun but very tricky to fly. This isn't like that, this is slightly heavier but I still think it looks pretty cool nonetheless. So let's go into the space plane hangar and you will see it laid out for you. It is called the X-11 Turbo Dolphin. As you can see, it looks very much similar to a drone that the US Army uses because of obviously its windowless shape here and its overall tail appearance here with its two wind tail planes and its high set. The reason it's called a dolphin is because it has a tail that's high up with the engine below the base and I will quickly run through the mods. I am using KW Rocketry here, but the only KW Rocketry parts in this entire design are this flat nose duckbill cone thing here and this engine here which you can easily replace. In fact, I think it might actually look better if you put a normal engine on top of it. So yeah, I will show you how to build this in just a second and I will see you there. Okay, so here's how to build the craft. I'm just quickly going to list the mods that I use and I believe there's only one. I have two installed here um, which is KW Rocketry and B9 Aerospace but really the only ones that you're going to need um, in order to complete this um, exactly as I've made it. Not that you'd really want to complete it exactly how I made it because I mean you want obviously want to make the design yours a little bit but the only mod that you're going to need if you really want to copy me exactly is B9 Aerospace. It's a really good mod, it's a really easy mod to install because I managed to install it. And all you need it for, like I said in the intro, I did say it was KW Rocketry in the intro so I apologise, it's actually B9 Aerospace. Um, all you need it for is this aerodynamic junction which will act as the nose of your aircraft and the engine that you'll be wanting to use. The engine that I use, which if I can find it here, where are you? Where are you? I can't find you. Where are you? There we go. This turbofan engine here, because it can't be the first part of a vessel, but this turbofan engine, they're the two things that you need B9 Aerospace. So let's get on with building this thing. You're going to want to start, obviously, with a pod in order to make it somewhat controllable. And we're going to choose this pro bodo bada 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 QBE. So let's choose it. And it comes up here. Lovely. And small. So first of all, we're going to take it right to the back because we want to have some room to maneuver here. We're then going to go to structural. And we're going to find the small beam section. So the pocket edition beam section. And we're going to attach it there like so and actually it's not the small beam section it is the long beam section like that yes that looks better so now what we need to do is go to aerodynamic and find the pair of delta wings like that turn on symmetry stick them on like so like that make sure they're the top of the delta wings are lined up with the front of the beam on there. So you see, this is what your craft should look like at the moment. You have the probe body at the back, you have a beam jutting forwards, 
and you have de two delta wings on the side. Now that would make a pretty decent glider if it had any control surfaces, but we'll add those later. So first of all, now, actually yeah, we're going to add the, the fuel and the engine now. So well, first of all, what we're going to need, because this engine is rather efficient, we don't actually need all that much fuel. So, this is a tricky part by the way, we're going to get one Mark 1 fuselage with jet fuel. So we're going to pick that up, and if it'll let me, we're going to turn off symmetry, we're going to place it here, but that juts out too much. So what we're going to want to do is rotate it using the A key, so that it actually embeds itself slightly within the thing. This can take a few tries, so don't be disheartened if it takes you a while. I like to tip it at 90 degrees about there. Make sure it's roughly centered. That's not centered, so we're going to have to try again. Make sure it's centered. Perf the thing with this, the big thing to remember with this design is that you really need to keep your center of mass um, as central as possible because it's the center of mass. See how that's pretty much central? We need to keep that there. Okay, so that's the tank. As you can see, it's clipping through the bottom, but that's okay. We're, um, we're, we're not done with it yet. So next, we can add the engine, I guess. So we can, we go, we find this engine. Remember, it's the F119 turbofan engine. Um, it has a really good thrust and a pretty decent efficiency as well. It's got nearly 200 thrust. It's a really good engine for perhaps slightly suborbital flights. So we add the engine here. Now, as you can see, no fuel's going to get to that straight away. So what we do is let's just get rid of the center of mass for sake at the moment. And let's get a couple of fuel lines. We'll get sim 2 just for center of mass sake. And we'll put them from here. And we'll put them right into the engine like that. So now what that means it is when we activate the engine, it will suck fuel from this tank here. It will suck it into the engine here and it will be nice and it will work it will be nice that's not right not at all brothers Blah. so what we could do i guess let's see if it'll work it could if the probe body wasn't in the way we could insert this so that it was a bit more compact but to be honest we're okay at the moment so we're just going to leave the engine as it is so now what we want to do is we want to construct the top half this is oh wait we haven't actually finished the bottom half yet. Stupid me. So what you want to do is go to aerodynamic again and you want to get the large control surfaces. Yeah, large control surfaces. These ones. And you want to put symmetry on by pressing X or clicking the symmetry button. You want to, oh, turn, not turn that way. You want to roll them using the Q and E keys. Stick them on like that. My friend has just entered steam. I apologize. And, um, that's the bit that's the bottom half pretty much done now what we're going to do finally though is get a couple of radio thermal wait no we haven't finished this yet we need um air intakes and i'm going for the under sort of underscore scoops here you can add more if you want but personally i think these under these under wing scoops are probably the best to go with um just because they look a bit tidier really, that's the only real reason. And landing gear, we're going to want to put some gear bays on here. So we'll put them on the edge of the wing here. And we'll put turn off symmetry and we'll put one at the front here. About as far forward as you can possibly get it because the nose is actually going to hang over here. So we can add a bit of decoration and a bit of... Um, usefulness to this so we can get these small solar cells these small ones here internal symmetry you can actually now stick solar cells onto control surfaces and have them work so if you want you can do this they're not necessary because we're going to put in radio thermal generators um, which pretty much give you infinite electric power as it is so we'll just stick some of these on I put them on for decoration but if you don't want to do this then by all means don't because like I say I'm doing this for your benefit so that you can see how the basic craft is formed and so that you can build it yourself with your own creative flair. 
So yeah, that's the base of the aircraft done. That would fly. Um, the only problem is, is it's probably not going to have very good yaw control because of the small um, SAS output that the this tiny little probe body has. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut the video here and then I will show you how to build the top half as like a separate part. And um, that's slightly more tricky, so don't worry because it does take a little bit of fiddling. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll grasp it. I'll see you in the second part. Okay, so we've now made the bottom half of our ship. Our ship, our plane. Bradders, stop saying stupid things. But okay, we've made the bottom of our ship. So now we need to do the top, the bit that's going to give us um, some yaw control plus an extra pitch and some roll control as well. So first of all, we're going to want to start off with the... B9 the second and only B is second and last B9 part. Turn off symmetry. It's this Mark 1 aerodynamic junction here. And what what you immediately think you're gonna do is stick it on like that on top of the fuel tank. But that looks kind of crap, I do have to say, because you've got this big gap here, it just looks awkward. So what you're gonna to want to do, don't do that. Attach it here right and move your grass physically grab the thick grab this and move it over here move it and it should snap right into place over the top of the fuel tank now if this doesn't work for you because that was purely by chance that this has happened you need to put, put it right up to the corner here but if that still doesn't work um, try putting it on this way round, try going this way round and then ro not rotating it, rolling it using the Q and E keys and um, you should eventually get it to stick. So if I just put it on here, again make sure that it's pretty much central. So there I think we're pretty good here. Yeah we're pretty much central, we're slightly off centre but we can re correct that when we get into the finer details. So there you go look, you have the nose. It looks amazing. It looks better than my nose in real life. And my real nose is huge if you have never seen one of my vlogs before. So next we want to put the tail section in. So again we go to aerodynamics and we find the long tail section. This is, I've never ever found a use for this thing before. This thing is pretty much useless. But if we stick this on here, see it won't work. It actually won't work. So what we do, simple take off the engine we'll fit this sometimes it takes a bit of working because for whatever reason it doesn't like to attach sometimes and then we fit the engine we may want to just move it down slightly so this is an attaching why aren't you attaching there we go it attaches it does take a bit of fiddling you do have to adjust your camera angle a little bit like I say a lot of these things you have to adjust your camera angle and stuff for in order to get it in. But there you see, we have a tail, but we don't have any control. Because we obviously we need some sort of control in order to make it go. So now what we need to do is we need to get two of these AVR8 winglets put on symmetry to make it two. And stick them on the back like this. Make it make sure the back of the winglets are roughly level and as far back as possible. So there you see it's starting to live up to its dolphin name now because obviously it's got these two flappy bits. It does kind of look <laughs> flappy bits. <laughs> I'm so childish. Um, you can see kind of what I mean now when I say it looks a little bit like a dolphin. We are going to kind of ruin that now. What we need to do is get two tail fins, put them at an angle to each other. I'd say that's this angle here is probably optimal, the optimal angle to put it at. But if you want to, you can put it one flatter if you want to make it look slightly cooler. And have sort of like a two prong approach. I think I'm actually going to go like that just because it looks awesome. Or should I? Let's, ooh, decisions. I'm going to put them like that. I'm actually going to keep it like that just for function's sake. And then, of course, don't forget because the tail fins don't have actually have any steering of their own so we need to turn off angle snap and get these small control surfaces stick them on the edge here and do exactly the same as what you did with the wings in the first part 
rotate them into position it can take a bit of working like I said but you get there eventually and click and you see we have a rod two rudders now and we have some roll control as well as some pitch so with regards to the basic design that's pretty much it we've built a dolphin we've built the dolphin craft as it were now what we need to do is garnish it because obviously it looks good but it could look better so firstly we want to make it fly well so we need to sort out the center of mass because I don't know if you can see this but the fuel tank which we put in is actually clipping through on this side and it's not on this side which means we have actually got it slightly uneven so what we do seeing as this tail is actually attached to this bit here the whole top half will move with it now so if we take this off and turn off symmetry we can just simply move it to the right spot make sure it's roughly right make sure it's not clipping through on either side which it isn't and there we go we're dead center so that means it will fly better also now I would recommend putting on maybe some batteries um, because and I put them like underneath the nose here because if we look at the center of mass compared to the center of lift that will fly because the center of lift is behind the center of mass but it won't fly as well as it should we need the center of mass to be just a little bit more further forwards so we'll add a couple of the bigger batteries here just nice and neatly underneath presentation is not particularly important but it's always good in Kerbal Space Program to work on your presentation skills because ships I like ships to look good so we're just gonna stick a couple more there and I think that should probably do for them uh, what else could we add I obviously we've got to add the radio thermal generators and we want to embed these because these are ugly they really are ugly things but we're gonna to want to embed these in the side here like so make sure you get them at just the right angle then you can hold alt and click on them to copy them over again like that and remember to embed them in the side again sometimes you might want to zoom in just a tad there we go you only need about six of these so three on each side tops maybe four if you're going if you're feeling adventurous so this isn't particularly neat but like I say you guys can build it using this tutorial yourselves so yeah we've got some radio thermal generators now I think something that I'll leave up to you um, to build I personally am crap at landing planes I let literally before this video I landed this thing and for the first time and I was so happy so you might want to put some radial parachutes on here but watch out for your center of mass so I put two on the edge of the wings two on the sides here but remember to rotate them for aerodynamic and looks purposes and maybe two on the tail if it'll let me pick them up if you're feeling generous two on the tail like that and so obviously so out your staging make sure your engine goes down into a separate stage which I'm totally failing to do right now so that's pretty much the aircraft now um, as you can see it looks pretty good now one thing I would say is maybe add just another one small gear bay under here just in case because I have been known to crash the tail into the into the ground upon takeoff but let's see how this thing flies obviously it flies like a dream I think is the simple way to put it we'll see here uh, if we wait for it to load up so we're going to turn on SAS we're going to throttle up to full um, watch this it flies like an absolute dream so here we go got the engine powering up see we're taking off see how I had that wheel so we're gonna press G to get the gear up and you can see just how f quickly it's accelerating and just how cool this thing looks in the air it looks so streamlined and sleek but yeah you can add missiles to this I can see it being used as like an attack drone sort of thing because it does kind of look like a military drone but there you have it guys that is my tutorial on how to build a small lightweight unmanned aircraft so I want to know guys what you want to see next. I want to know what you guys want to see me build because I'll build anything, you know. I'm, I'm open to suggestions and I will make sure I will do my best to try and get those things done for you guys. 
But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like and most importantly subscribe because it really helps us out. Look at us flying away from the space center confidently. Um, also, um, if you want me to do any other things like this in the future, remember to leave your suggestions in the comments down below. And I'll see you next time. This is Bradus signing off. Peace, guys.